so much for tuning in to this live stream. It's, uh, we've already got four people online here and um, we currently are standing underneath a bridge that we were just scuba diving at. And we've got the scuba diving tanks right here. We've got the scuba tanks. All of our gear is basically on the side right here with our tanks. So we found a lot of cool stuff today. If you guys remember the last time we were here, I already, I already see a like. Thank you so much, everybody, for pressing that thumbs up button. It really does help a lot. Um, last time we were here, we found, I think it was seven or eight pistols, um, a bunch, just a bunch of firearms. And uh, we were here with Man Plus River. We found a motorcycle. And if you guys remember, right over near here, I'm actually gonna walk underneath the bridge. On the other side, if you go a little bit down from this area, we found a motorcycle past that pillar over there. Yeah, past that pillar over there, we found a motorcycle. <laughs> we found a motorcycle over there. Yeah, like past that pillar, it was about probably 10, 10 foot deep over there. Uh, no, it was another day, but we, we pulled it out and it was actually just sitting right there. That's where it was right there. And someone just came, came along and I guess took it. We scuba dive. Um, not I, I haven't been here in the like probably in six months so it's been about six months since i've been here so <laughs> yeah yeah so i'm live on youtube right now if you want to tell them hello <laughs> so i've got johnny behind me with georgia river boys we're currently waiting on the police to come we did just call them and we are in a horrible horrible part of atlanta like this is the uh, probably one of the worst areas I've probably ever been in trash wise. I mean, check this out. If you guys are enjoying the video, yes, thank you guys so much. Press that like button if you're enjoying. There's just so much trash over here. Toilet seats, there's bottles, bags, just so much trash over here. And we're doing our part, you know, what we can pick up in the rivers. But when all this trash is sitting all over here, when this floods, there's like another pond over there. When this floods, all of the trash just goes right back into the river. So it kind of makes it hard for us to clean up everything. Wow, 200 people on here. How's it going? Bristol, UK. We've got a lot of people on here from the UK. Thank you so much for joining in. Rhonda, hey, how's it going everybody? Sean, dang, thank you so much everybody. Press that like button if you guys are enjoying. Um, so I'm gonna show you right now what we came across and I'm gonna do a little quick glance. But right here, that is what we came across. So we're currently waiting on the police to come now. Welcome John to early upload members. Really do appreciate you joining in with us. Oh my gosh, Canada, Utah. We've got so many people in here, Noonan, Georgia from Michigan. Oh my goodness, there are so many people in here and you guys are blowing up the stream. Thank you so much. Um, but yes, we just came across this firearm. It does have serial numbers. It is loaded. It has bullets in the chamber. So I have I have no idea what we do. Um, I, I mean, we, we've obviously called the police. They're gonna come out here and take a look at it. But I mean, as of right now, we're just waiting for the police. Texas, Ontario. Oh my goodness. How is the weather there today? The weather here is very nice. Uh, it's super sunny. Uh, I want to say it's in like the eighties or nineties now, which makes the river so nice. The river was, I want to say it was probably in like the seventies today. It was super warm, super nice. Thank you guys so much. Smash the like button. People really do appreciate it. Gosh, you guys are incredible. I can't even keep up with half of these comments. Hey, how's it going? Racing to the moon. Rosie, humid in Texas. I'm sure it's humid in Texas. It sounds like it'd be hot out there. Oh my goodness, but check check it up. Oh man, exploring with nugs here. <laughs> Johnny came across a pistol today. So he's the one that's super happy. Um, and you also, yeah. So we wanna see what you guys think about this. It's a huge piece of metal and it looks like on the top here, it's got like a little piece of wire coming out of the top. Um, we got a bunch of golf balls and, you know, set up the scuba tanks. Last time Jeremy was here, he remembers we found that motorcycle. The motorcycle's gone as we found out from last time, but the water, I mean, it's, it wasn't the worst today. It was a little bit murky, not too bad. 
Um, like I said, it was in the 70s, so it was pretty much perfect for today. Good morning from Alaska. Wow, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> that is so awesome. Do you have any videos with Man Plus River? We are, we're going to have some videos coming out soon of that. Um, I plan out getting out with uh, Yappy again soon, probably do some more creek videos and things like that. But it's just amazing to catch you guys live on here. I really do appreciate everybody who's been tuning in. If you can press the like button, it really does help us out a lot. Helps the algorithm find us. And we're just waiting for the police to get here. So, hi from Ramburn, Alabama. Would love to come see, watch you guys in person sometime. Torrential downpour in down Southeast Texas. Oh my goodness. Super rainy. What's up from Arizona? But check it out, you guys. We just got out of the river not too long ago and we're currently waiting on the police. So we have no idea how this is gonna go. You guys are gonna see this live. Hot in Scotland for a change. <laughs> West Virginia, hey Johnny, how's it going? I like what all you people do for the environment. Yes, we are always about cleaning up the environment. So last time we called the police out here, it took a little bit of time i, I want to say i mean they were they didn't really they didn't really come super quick it took about an hour and a half or so so we'll see how this goes but this is a uh this is definitely cool definitely cool for sure so that is awesome you guys have any ideas what this is i want to see you guys comment down below I was thinking, I was like, that looks like the end of a mortar or something, man, but I, I doubt it. It's got a little chain right here. Um, I'm honestly not really sure what that is. It looks like a projectile that sits on the end of a big tank shell. That's a tank shell. That's what I'm guessing, like, you know, the big ones in and That would be cool. People are saying cannonball and anchor? Hey, it could be used for an anchor. You never know. Have you ever been to the Saline River? I have not. It, that, yeah, people are saying it looks like artillery. On the bottom, you can see it's completely solid iron. I was thinking it could have been some sort of weight, but I'm not really sure. As you can see, you know, we've got golf balls. Um, yeah, a lock, and it's been cut right here. So someone definitely wanted to get into something right there. A bunch of golf balls, as always. I'm not sure why we find golf balls all the time, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> how's it going exploring with nug hey how's it going renee it's great to see you prison ball and chain that would be pretty cool um i think nug actually found one of those recently too wait from a godfather clock that could, could be you never know you never know um we just so we're i mean right now we're really just waiting how do, how old does the gun look tell johnny to check his phone johnny check your phone Yeah, uh, Jeremy. Jeremy said to check your phone. But yeah, the gun, it looks like a little bit of a newer model. Um, I'm not really sure, but it does have a stainless steel um, hammer on it. I know, you, I know you guys, I know we shouldn't really be showing that on the live stream, but it does look pretty old. I mean, I mean not, not pretty old, I mean, it looks, it looks like it's in good shape, but it is an older gun. We can see serial numbers on it, and that's one of the reasons why we are going to turn this in, um, because it has serial numbers on it. But 305 people on here and 189 likes. You guys are amazing. Huge fan, watch you daily. Love you guys, wanting to get a magnet myself. Does it have a brand? It is a Smith & Wesson, from what I believe. Um, Facebook Messenger, Johnny, is what Jeremy said. So, I just asked him to bring me a drink. <laughs> awesome. But where are you guys? Uh, where are you guys watching from? I, I saw a bunch of people from Alaska, Canada. You guys should come to Lancaster, Ohio. That is that would be really cool. I would love to come up to Ohio. Um, that'd be interesting. From Tennessee, fresh drop in the river. No. So when Johnny found this. Um, I want to explain to you guys. So, Johnny, when you found this, the people are wondering. Um, it was in a bag, correct? And yeah. it was sealed up. And the bag was, it was kind of a, like a cloth bag. And a it cloth was, bag. It actually adhered to the gun itself. So when I showed it to you in the water, you'll be able to see the bag on it. And when I brought it up here, I knocked, I ripped the bag off. Man. 
Just so crazy. I haven't gone live in a while and you guys seem to really enjoy these live streams. So I thought, you know what, why not break out the phone, do a little bit of a live stream for you guys and show you guys what's going on. Um, what, time, what time is it right now? What time do we call them? 3.08. 3.08, we called them... 2.47. 2.47, so I mean they should be here within the next 15 to 20 minutes is what I'm thinking. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. California, awesome. At least you're not in the car this time. <laughs> awesome, but yeah, it's it's been amazing. You know, all the support on the YouTube channel. I just can't, I, I just can't grasp the fact that 168,000 of you guys have chosen to subscribe to the channel. And it honestly, I, I just love, you know, picking up trash and, you know, recording content for you guys. You're gonna see the full video of everything that we found with the guns and basically everything that we came across today in the YouTube video. It's probably gonna come within the next couple of weeks. And people always ask us, you know, why, when you post all these videos, it, all, it almost seems like you're finding something good every single time. I can tell you from firsthand experience, we're going out four to five days out of the week, constantly putting in the hours, going to multiple bridges, five or six, six bridges a day. It's not every single bridge that we're able to find stuff. And that's what you got to understand. It's searching for something that, you know, could be potentially there. And we've gone to a lot of new bridges and found, you know, more and more items. But, you know, I, I just wanted to address that and let you guys know that we are striking out. There's been a lot of striking out that hasn't been on camera. And I can put that for, I can put that up for you guys to see, but I just, I really enjoy putting the exciting finds out for you guys to see. So you guys, you have such a nice di disposition. Stay the way you are. You're a good kid, Britain. Thank you so much. I, I really do appreciate all the support. And without you guys, this, none of this would be possible. And there's just more and more things that keep on coming with this. And I mean, we're never going to stop. We're never going to stop scuba diving. We're never going to stop searching more rivers and new places. And we're always going to take you guys along with us. So. 322 watching. I'm the only person who did the thumbs up. Well, I appreciate you <laughs> For sure So Johnny any update from the PD now Yes, yeah, I got so many of those. Oh, no, man, it just I mean and it fills up the SD cards, you know, we we're constantly emptying empty clips that we didn't have you know from the gopro or oh we didn't get a full video i don't think today you know it's it's not always a gun every single dive and and that's what people have com been commenting they're like you know you keep finding all of these guns and bombs and crazy stuff i can tell you right now that it's not like that every time i wish it was it would be incredible but yes everyone in russia is missing out all you do is find guns boring hey Jeremy, I don't want to hear it because you scream like a little girl every single time you find a gun. So, I mean, that's all I'm going to say about that. If that's boring, it, you, your videos say otherwise. <laughs> but anyways, man, um, we got everything and we're just waiting right now. We got the full face mask. You guys have really enjoyed hearing that and enjoyed me using it. It's been, it's allowed me to talk to you guys underneath the water, which has been amazing you need to get jeff scuba diving more yes. so we're gonna do a little bit of a q a um i guess while we're waiting here for the police and uh guns are great glad you have found no bodies yes that's definitely uh, i i don't want to come across that if, it, if, I, if i did happen to come across that i think i'd be a little more prepared because of that prank that jeremy did to me but that's still that still had me pretty shocked so we're gonna do a, a Q and A. Did you do you dive every day? So, I do not dive every single day. I try to save two days out of the week um, to just do like you know have a relaxed day and you know just hang out and edit the videos that we've made. Um, normally, I go three to five times a week. Normally, that's that's normally the amount of times that we dive. And most of the other times, I'm home doing some editing on the computer. Love outdoor influencer too but it's just been an amazing journey. Love your channel, thank you so much. Payback for Nug, you guys are just gonna have to see that. So, what is your favorite find? Um, my favorite find would have to be, 
Um, I don't know. I, it's it's between the World War II mortar and I found and this was actually a find that I made metal detecting. I was metal detecting and I came across a button and it was called a it was called a Stuart crystal button and uh, it was from the 1700s and that was that was a really cool find. I was super excited about that and. Um, and yes, but I think Jeremy and I should count however many guns we have found and see who's found more because Jeremy seems to be getting a little bit upset in the chat right now. <laughs> never say never, Nug. <laughs> Man, 370 people on here, 286 thumbs up. You guys rock. Do you guys keep any of the guns that you find? Sometimes we are able to. Sometimes we're able to call the police and they show up on scene and they run the serial numbers and they say it's not a stolen gun um so yeah you can keep it so yeah i mean when that happens it's really cool but that's only happened to me and jeremy i think two or three times so visit visit michigan before the water freezes he said i got a garage full of old guns good for you jeremy round of applause round of applause <laughs> anyways Johnny, what you thinking, man? They're taking their sweet time. <laughs> hey, Britt, hope you're doing well. Biggest blooper. I have quite a few bloopers. I'm going to have to make a video about... Um, I don't know. Jeremy seems to catch all the bloopers that he ends up posting on his videos. Most of the time it's either me changing and I'm half naked or something. But <laughs> Jeremy seems to catch a lot of the bloopers. No, no, like nothing, nothing big, I would say. Just, you know, little mess ups on the camera or I'll say something wrong. But um, as for bloopers, just tripping over things and falling and scraping up our wetsuits and everything. Just, yeah, just keeping it real, not funny, not rehearsed. Exactly. That's what you're supposed to do with YouTube. It's all to show who you are as a person conveying that to people and I really do appreciate everybody who has been following along. Are you planning your revenge on Nug? The Mineshaft video is hilarious. Yeah, Jeremy's posting his video um, coming up soon and um, yeah, I just, I really enjoy hanging out with you guys. I almost look at it like a second family almost because you guys are constantly supporting everything that I've been posting and it's just, I mean, the support has been nothing but amazing. I, I just really do want to ex explain that. So sliding down the banks, what happens if you go scuba diving in the ocean? If you go scuba diving in the ocean, I'm assuming you'll find Megalodon shark's teeth, which is what Johnny and I did about a week ago. Yes. So we found some really cool Megalodon teeth. Adam was the one who came out ahead. He found a super big Megalodon tooth and that was really cool. I watch all your videos. Thank you so much, Tim. I do see you in the comments. And uh, love seeing you gag over smelling the old bottle. Oh, I remember that. That was in the canal with Jake. That was, <laughs> that almost made me throw up. It was so, such a bad smell. It was horrible. I would think the ocean would be scary. It, it can be. I think my initial drop down, you know, to 40 feet when I was down there at the bottom, it was scary. Cause I mean, you know, you see all the sea urchins and all the fish and eels and stuff. So you guys crack, crack me up whenever you find something and you think you think it's old. You guys are doing Mother Earth a huge favor cleaning up the environment. Scary and fascinating. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, you can ask Jeremy and I, but every single bridge we've been to, we just keep going down from bridge to bridge on the section of river we've been searching. And we keep pulling up more stuff and more, you know, of these witch jars that have, you know, curses and writing on them. Um, from guns, we found bags that have been locked up with IDs and credit cards. Just, I mean, and it, and it just keeps going from there. You never know what you're gonna find, and that's why it's so much fun to go to the river and see what you can get. So, we are waiting for the police right now to come. As you can see, there's just so much trash. Someone even left a whole bag full of bottles right there as well. I'm glad y'all are doing your part to help around the world. We definitely do what we can. Um, but yeah, now we're just uh, we're just waiting for the police. Where's the park ranger? So, <laughs> 
If you guys remember that, that video that I posted um, where I was with my friends Danielle, Adam, and Bobby, and I was able to find those two guns. You guys remember when I came out, that officer greeted us unannounced. Didn't I, I mean, we didn't even call, call him on the phone. He just happened to show up. And when he came, he, you know, he took the, the evidence that we found, you know, the guns and everything like that, and he, he processed it, I'm sure, you know, made a report and everything. But the day after that, I want to say it was like 9 or 10 in the morning, they found, the fire department came down to that same location and they found a dead baby floating down the stream. So I don't know if that was God looking out for me not to find that. I don't know how I would have felt, you know, in a situation like that, but it just... It makes me so emotional to think that I was there a day before, you know, they found, you know, before they found that and it was, you know, it was just there before, the whole time. But it was, it's just really sad. I feel, you know, horrible about that whole situation. But just one of those stories to where, you know, I could have came across something like that. And it's, you know, Jeremy and I have a lot of stories like that too, where, you know, we've scuba dove places and, you know, a day later, you know, there'll be a crime committed right where we were diving so we constantly hear these updates and things like that but i just thought that'd be something you know weird for to share with you guys it's just something so sad but <sighs> anyways we got 446 people online oh as you can see the police are actually johnny's waving them down right now hold on oh my gosh they're on the other side of the bridge Hey, we're over here. If you go, if you go down, if you go down the street and yeah, okay. So he, he knows what's going on. <laughs> so he's coming. He sees us over here. You can see the, the lights over there. Do not give up your rights. We'll see how this goes. Um, I'm not sure for about the laws in Georgia or anywhere else. But um, I, th I don't think you have to give your ID when you find weapons. I'm, I'm not sure though. Yeah. Yes, come o go over to Georgia River Boys if you want to see the video of him finding it. And I'm gonna have a video on my channel too, but that officer, as you can see, he's turning around. You'll see the lights as he turns, turns around. Have you ever been to N NH, New Hampshire? I don't know why I said NH, <laughs> New Hampshire. Yes, I have been to New Hampshire before. So. You guys caught anything yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> so he's turning around right now. He's gonna be coming up the street right over here. Nug asked about scuba diving on Monday. I'm sure we will. Have you been to Indiana? That would be cool. I know Jeff has. How many people you have on live right now? Come to Denver, Colorado. 473 people. Awesome. How many likes we got? So we've got 357 likes. Awesome. So Don't it's it's very good yeah you guys are incredible this is awesome so thank you guys that'd be awesome yeah um so johnny is going to be holding my camera yep so he's got dual cameras and uh yeah I, so the zoom is right here and i guess you can just focus it by like touching the screen and stuff but should be okay and um, I, I mean, I can honestly, I can hold my camera, man, while I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah, I should be able to. So the cops are going to be here any second. We're going to have a full video of this whole experience. Thank you, Britton. So we've got the firearm right there. Police are about to show up right now, so we're just going to wait for them right down the street. Hi from Bartlett, Tennessee. They're about to make their way down this road. We gotta wait for them, but there's the firearm right there.
All right, so we're about to start filming for the original video. This is the whole setup. I, I don't have the big lens on here today because it, it broke. It's actually having some problems, but this is for the main video that you guys are gonna watch. So. Should be interesting. Do you think he knows where we are? All right. So you went over there, and uh, how did you? You said you metal detected over there. How did yeah. you do that? Did you oh, on the ops, on the opposite side. Oh, we magnet fish. No, we we actually got in a boat. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Jeremy had his boat, and we were magnet fishing over there. That's the sketchy water on that side. Yeah. Is this behind the scenes? Yes, we are live. We're waiting for the police officer right now to come down this this uh, road right here. If you could hold the live, I don't really need to. And I can get your, I can film that if you want. So, you know, we are currently waiting for the police. They're uh, right now. We've got both of our cameras, so we're going to get some shots. Just picking this evidence up. I really do appreciate all of you guys tuning in. We've got about 500 people on here, I think. 511. 511. See how this all carries out. Oh, sorry. All right. Got lost a little bit. Speak up, Britain. All right, I'm back. I'm back over on this side of the camera, so I'm sorry about that. Oh, is that hard to hear? A little on that bit side? of te technical difficulties. Yeah. <laughs> so when I'm on the other side, they can't really hear me too well. So they really knew need to do something about the front facing mic. Yes. Yeah. No, I, I would agree. I've got to be almost right next to the screen in order to hear everything. So we're waiting for them, though. They're almost here. Does he know how to get? I mean, it shouldn't be taking him this long to get down here. He had to go that way. Oh, he had to go around. Oh, he took a he, oh he took a wrong wrong turn. So, we're going to be waiting for him. And we'll see how this all, how this all goes. Everybody hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already. I definitely do appreciate you guys. Y'all found so many guns, it's ridiculous. I know. It seems like every other day we're finding more too. But... It is awesome. Don't say anything to the police officer about getting lost. Oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm obviously not going to do that. But uh, we're just waiting for him right now. He should be coming soon. He might be walking all the way, walking all the way back here. I hope not. I hope not. I mean, this is a long road, man. Have you guys ever been in a scary situation? Oh, yeah, all the time. All the time we've been in the river and, you know, we found stuff that we weren't really sure what it was. And then it's got a, like, I found witch jars before. That stuff is definitely, you know, scary to find. And um, obviously, you know, finding, like, guns that have serial numbers scratched off of them and thrown into the water with two 35-pound dumbbells. Have you ever gotten into, a, into trouble with the law for anything you found? No, I have not. No, and that's a good thing. Um, I'm really happy about that. But let's see let's see what's going on right now. Oh yeah, the human remains. That was that was scary. So let's go ahead and walk down here and see if we can see them. When are you coming to California? Most likely soon. Should be coming in here. I can't see him. Do not have the gun in your hand when the police come. Oh yeah, we won't. 
They just came. They were just here a second ago. The officer is lost. That's what we're thinking because he pulled up all the way at that bridge over there on the opposite side. And now we're just waiting for him right now to come on this dirt road. Oh my goodness. Dang, we've almost got 600 people on here. That is amazing. Check that out, man. It's crazy. I'm gonna move this in the sun a little bit so we can see it. Love watching, come to Texas. Maybe got another call. Could've. Hey, uh, son, the police officer just called me and he says he's afraid that he'll pop a tire. He's afraid that he'll pop a tire? He wants us to drive to get there. I mean, we can just walk there, honestly. Yeah. Well, you just wanna walk there? I don't know, man. I mean, cause you shouldn't walk up to a police officer holding that. I can set it in the back of my truck. We can drive up and just say it's right Yeah, there. yeah, let's do that. So you put it in the truck. I'm going to walk down. I'm going to walk down and talk to him. So Johnny's going ahead and he's going to put that in the back. So apparently the police officer doesn't want to drive down this road because he doesn't want his tire to pop, which is understandable. So we're going to go ahead and walk up to the front of the property now. And just to let you guys know, we are sitting at 593 people on here. I can't thank you guys enough for all the support. This is just incredible. Let's walk down the road though and check out what exactly is going on. He doesn't want to pop his tire. There's, it doesn't look like there's too much trash over here or anything that can really pop a tire, I don't think, but. Let's keep walking here. So it said, he said he was at the end of the road. So Johnny's getting his truck now. And he's driving up to the front. So I'm gonna walk all the way down there and talk to the officer. Keep doing what you do, love the videos. I definitely appreciate you guys, seriously. 160, I'm, I mean, almost, I don't even know what it is now. I haven't checked my phone. We're, almost, we're sitting at what, like 169,000 subscribers or 168,000? Almost 170,000 people. You guys are amazing. You seriously changed my life. So, all right, some people are saying they have to go. I completely understand. We are walking on this dirt road. As you can see, Johnny's coming. So Johnny's gonna be driving. I'm going to be walking up to the front. So we have to walk up here because the officer didn't want to um, pop his tire coming down this road. I'm hoping that I didn't leave anything behind, but I think Johnny got everything. Sit on the tailgate. Oh yeah. That'll be nice. I'm going to get a seat on the tailgate all right man here we go I'm on the tailgate right now they want us to go up yeah they want us to go up to the front because the officers afraid of pop his tires I'd laugh if, he, if the cop gave me a tail, tailgate for riding on the tailgate. That would be funny. That'd be hilarious, honestly. Huh? 
Oh, flat screen TV right there, man. Look at that. Just sit, see, see how much trash is over here? I mean, it's honestly disgusting. It's honestly disgusting how much trash is over here. Oh my gosh. So I'm on the tailgate right now, getting a ride from Johnny. And we're about to meet up with this officer now. Hop up. Okay. Yeah. No, he's he's right here, yeah. How's it going, officer? So we found a, a firearm over in the river. We were scuba diving, Johnny did. And uh, we basically wanted to just give it to you guys. Thought it'd be the best thing to do, so. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Right underneath the where it, where it crosses the Chattahoochee, right there. Um, do I have to supply my ID since I did not find it? No, that's fine. If you want to, All right, I'm. Okay. Uh, that was him. But um, is is there any way to uh, you can't turn in something anonymously to the police? Is that is that you have to give them your ID? Well, you don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to give your ID. Okay. All right, I'm just making sure. I appreciate it. I just wasn't the one who found it. You know, I didn't, I'm not even, yeah. Definitely. Had you guys told me, right? Okay. So if anything comes back, you guys don't get in trouble for it. You know what I'm saying? Of course. So that's the only reason why I ask for it. Um, okay. Doesn't mean that you are in any criminal law or anything like that, right? Okay. Here we go. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. If he, uh, if if someone weren't to give their ID, like if I just said I I didn't want to give my ID not for finding it, it's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Okay. Okay. So I'm. I mean, if you would have committed a crime with it probably wouldn't be calling you right now. Of course, of course, no, yeah, yeah, of course, of course, yeah. definitely. Thank you, officer, I appreciate it. Yep. Yeah, it's definitely not the best driveway. No. <laughs> yeah. That's the reason why I didn't want to go all the way over there. I made it like halfway through, and I was like, if I go through there, someone needs me after, and I'm oh, stuck. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got you. Definitely. Not a road just walk. All right. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Awesome. No problem. Was just right under that bridge. Right? Yeah. Just right under the bridge, right. yes, sir. All right, man. Appreciate you guys calling me, all right? Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you we appreciate much. you guys. All right. So he's getting into his car right now and leaving. And that was it. Man, what an interesting experience. We learned something new today. You do not have to give your ID to an officer if you find any sto any like property or anything really in the river. You do not have to supply your ID. That's what the cop just told us. Um, they said they like to put their names with the reports. But, you know, that's something interesting to learn, I think. So, I don't know. But... He seemed very nice, yeah, he and nice. and I, re I really we really appreciate COP PD. Like I'm saying, they've they've been the best department out of every single department we've dealt with. Cobb County Police Department has been amazing. They've just they've been very incredible. So um, I really appreciate you guys watching. We really do appreciate you guys supporting us as well. Thank you, um, thank you so much. And uh, I think that's gonna sum up this live stream.
Um, it might, that might not be the case in all states. And yes, that is the truth. It might not be the case in all states. But I just wanted to ask the officer if I'm legally obligated to turn, you know, to give my ID over um, when we find these things. You know, that's something that's definitely important. So make sure all y'all subscribe to Britain's channel and give it a thumbs up while you're on the live. And thank every one of y'all. Yes. Thank you guys so much for joining in. And I, I mean, I just really, I really appreciate it. It was a great experience with that police officer. He was nothing but nice to us. Um, gave us, you know, a little more information uh, about, you know, the rights that we have to not give over our, our IDs and things like that. It was just an overall great experience, turning in the guns, picking up trash, doing what we do best. I appreciate all of you watching and we'll see you guys on the next video on Sunday. You guys are going to really enjoy it.